Right, so let's record some drums. So we're down in Western. Uh, this is Miggs' place. Uh, you can see we've got the mic set up on this kit here. Uh, I'm going to talk you through our setup and then I'm going to show you uh, one of the takes. It's actually the take I decided to use. Okay, starting with the kick drum. Uh, we use two microphones on the kick drum. Uh, one inside and one about two feet away from the skin. Uh, this is a picture of the first microphone. It's a Sennheiser E902. If you put it in at an angle as opposed to straight, I just find that it gets rid of the clickiness of the beater um, and it gives it a bit of a fatter sound. So maybe give that a try next time you record some drums. Uh, the other kick drum mic you can see here is it's pretty much the same microphone as the other one, just an older version. This is the E602 from Sennheiser. Uh, now this one was sort of trying to round the sound off. You know, you've got the tight, punchy sound of the one inside the kick drum. This one gives you a fuller, beefier sound. Because if you think about it naturally, when do you ever stick your ear right in it? right inside of a kick drum, uh, you don't very often. So it's more of a natural sound really. Uh, and the positioning in this picture, you can see Mix's hand just to kind of show you how far away from the skin it is. Uh, what I do is I'll play the beater and I will move the microphone back to the point where I can just about feel the airwave created from the uh, kick drum. So if, if this hand's back too far, you won't feel any air being moved. I'd say that's a bit too far away. Too, so I'm just trying to find that point where it, it sort of dies off. Uh, and then that gives it kind of a nice rounded sound mixed with the other one. And here's a, here's a little picture of the two of them working together. So you can see the first mic in at an angle, about just an inch inside the sound hole. And then the other one's about a foot and a half away from the skin. Moving on to the snare. Uh, normally I use a just a bog standard SM57 from Shure, uh, but Mix has got a Beta 57A and uh, it always sounds nice so we give that a go. Nothing too fancy here really, just your bog standard, a couple of inches away from the top of the head, uh, angled towards the middle of the snare, uh, not really much more to it. We've got two snares uh, going in this song, Mix is using an auxiliary snare. Um, as part of his drum beat that he's come up with and uh, he looks to get pretty pretty weird and creative with his drum beats so on this one he's got a little splash just on top of the skin there we're just using a very standard um, AKG D40 microphone now this is part of a drum kit that we've got um, nothing fancy here we can't afford million dollar mics so uh, we'll work with what we got this is the Octava MK012 which I use on hi-hats uh, you can see from the angle in the picture that it's it's about two or three inches from the hi-hat uh, but it's pointing away slightly from the snare that's just to try and limit the spill from the snare as much as I can it's impossible to completely eliminate it but this makes it just that little bit better okay now this mic is used almost as kind of like a room mic uh, Migs has been experimenting with this microphone for a little while and uh, he, he convinced me to give this a try so we, we put this ribbon microphone just sort of above the bass drum in this gap in this hollow of the drum kit and you get a really nice bassy overtone from the kick drum uh, I'm probably gonna compress the hell out of this one and then just blend it into the track just a little bit but it's just just give me a few more options when I come to mix the overheads probably 90% of the sound really uh, you know you just really need two good overheads, a kick drum and a snare mic, I think, to get a good good uh, drum sound. Uh, these are the SE 4400As, and I'm using them in a standard recorder man technique. If you Google that or check out YouTube, there's plenty of people that have done a, uh, a good tutorial on how to do that. Uh, but basically, the theory behind it is you measure out two sticks up from the snare. You put your first microphone there, aiming straight down at the snare. You then measure the distance using a cable or a tape measure um, to the other microphone to make sure that you are the same distance from both the snare and the kick drum. That way everything stays in phase and you get a really, a really nice sound of the full drum kit. So here's the other overhead that you can see. Uh, you know, just over the B over the drummer's right shoulder, aiming in the middle of the snare. And here's a picture of the two of them combined. 
and the full setup. This is just a little clip of uh, MIGs warming up and me just setting the levels on my system. You can see I'm using a little MacBook Air as my computer. Uh, I've got an Apollo 8 as my main audio interface and we're running four channels from the Apollo and then we're running six or seven channels from this Audient 008 and, uh, and I really like this combination, it's got some really good sounding pre's, nice clean setup. So, I think we're good to go, let's do a take. Nice! Oh. <sighs>